Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Honey Badger from Honey Labs Diamond Dab of the Day with Mega Bubbler. I brought out the Howitzer. So it's Howitzer of the Day today. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. As always, you know what to do when you enjoy the video. Hit the subscribe button, send a like, and I reply to all them comments. I got to tell you. When I was a kid, I wasn't very creative. You know, when it came time to draw, finger paint, you know, any of this stuff that you did in school that required creativity, I, I was a straight line in a square box kind of guy, kind of kid. But you know, as I developed, as I aged, and now at 65, I consider myself rather creative. But you know what? A lot of people got stuck on problems they can't solve. A lot of people are writers who get writer's block. Painters who get painter's block. People in business who can't get ahead in their business or creativity just get stopped somehow. They can't innovate solutions, make new products, create new advertising campaigns. So you know what? These are issues. They're problems, actually. But problems can be considered gifts. Problems are there to allow us to change our perspective and our mental state, change how we look at things, and improve creativity. Remember, creativity used to be attributed only to artists or musicians. Van Gogh, Dali, Mozart. It's not. The most creative people are the most successful people. Think about it. Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, these people created something from nothing. So how do we, how do I, how do you improve our creativity? Creativity doesn't just happen, does it? If you find yourself stuck, unable to innovate, stuck on a problem with a short-term or long-term solution, you know what? What do you do? Who do you turn to? Well, you know what? We've got to be able to boost our own creativity and get things going. So we've got to build what's called a growth mindset. It's one of the most important traits of a creative person. Just open-mindedness. It means that we're curious about others and believe that we can learn from them. So we got to be willing to do the work to master new skills and take control of our life and take creativity to a new level. you got to overcome your fears, frankly. And remember, when was the last time you did something out of your comfort zone? Pushing ourselves to new heights by overcoming our fears is what can give us a sense that you can do anything. A sense that we can help improve our creative selves, seek out new experiences, find our purpose. It's an essential part of the vision. And you gotta have that vision in order to live your passion and stay inspired to be creative. When you have vision, your passion will show through your actions and the creativity flows naturally. This is a passion of mine, what I'm doing right now. So you need to be aware, I think, of what's called the cycle of success. That's right. Success is dangerous because one begins to copy oneself and to copy oneself is more dangerous than to copy others. You gotta avoid the trap of what's called redundancy and break out of the monotony because we gotta always ask ourselves, can we do better? Can I do better? We gotta ask the right question. Successful people ask better questions, frankly. They gotta imagine the problem from another perspective, maybe from 30,000 feet up looking down, maybe from underground looking up. Gotta activate the creativity switch by asking ourselves the right questions. That's right. You know what? It ain't that hard. Because each time we sit down to solve a problem, we reconnect with what we're doing. We talk to ourselves. And we're answering. We're rebooting our creativity every time we solve another problem. And you know what? Maybe if you're working hard at something, or if you're staying at it all the time, take a little break. Take time off of that thing. Because working all the time at it 
Will it make you feel productive? Maybe, but it's not gonna help your creativity. Taking the right time off is the habit of successful people. Think about it, your mind needs time to process experiences, to regenerate, and to make the connections you're looking for. Move our bodies. Next time you feel stuck creatively, stand up, walk around your room, go outside, see the sun, walk your dog, get a different perspective. You see, it's very important that you do seek out experts, that you read opinions, look at opinions by people who know the topic, whether you agree on it or not, but you got to include people in those discussions who have different life experiences and worldviews. So it becomes kind of a brainstorming thing. You've always got to include people that have differing opinions that we do. You see, you got to look at it this way. The world's a huge place. You've got to narrow down, kind of like a funnel, what you're looking at, but not into a tunnel so you don't see the things around you whether it's your business or your personal life. Practice gratitude, see a wider perspective, use funnel vision instead of tunnel vision and see what's going on. Don't just focus on the thing that's going on in your life or your industry. What's going on out there? Can you pick some tidbits up and create an accepting and encouraging environment for you, for me, for us? We've all heard the phrase, there are no bad ideas. But do we treat ourselves like that's true? Or do we shoot it down because we say to ourselves, before we even speak it, oh, that's, a, that's a bad idea. So rather than punishing it, change our self-talk to appreciate every idea that comes our way, whether it's creative, right, or wrong. Because after all, where does creativity really come from? It comes from doing different things and finding different answers. Learning how to increase, increase creativity is not just a task for the writers and artists. It's a personal skill. It's a business skill. You know what? It might even be a dying skill. But the truth is, we have to continue. You see, the secrets, the secrets of how to improve our creativity they don't belong to poets and painters. Anybody that takes steps to improve their creativity can solve even the toughest situations, personally and professionally. The key is the time to start now. That's right. Start now improving our creativity. Don't wait. Start now. This is The Real Senior Stoner and we're gonna honey badger it. That's right, I gotta turn my hat around because otherwise we could potentially burn it. And here we go. We're going out with the honey badger and some grape ape diamonds on my sneaky Pete mega bubbler. Here we go. Well, the water filtration on these big bubblers makes it so it's not even a harsh dab. Thanks for joining me, everybody, today as we talked about creativity, a very, very important topic for us all. Thanks for joining me. As always, you know what to do. Since I know you enjoyed today's video, hit the subscribe button, send a like, and I reply to all the comments out there. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and thanks for joining The Real Senior Stoner. Cheers, everybody.